Hello and welcome to the second coffee chat. This is my vlog. Hi, I'm Marin. I'm the designer at Naturista. And quite honestly, I'm a one woman show. I have a nice tech editor on board and I do have some really amazing business coaches. But so far, that's all. <laughs> Maybe I can change that one day. Anyway, uh, the coffee chat is. Yeah, it's a really simple, simple vlog principle. Um, a lot of other designers do too. Um, the idea is we meet. I hope you have a have a coffee or a tea at hand, and um, I tell you what's going on here at Naturista, what's going to come next, and um, yeah, hope I can. I can spend an hour or so, or maybe a bit less, uh, with you together and um, yeah, meet in my imaginary virtual cafe. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say yeah again. I'm. I'm really sorry. All right. So today I actually want to talk about two things. Um, I could talk about more, maybe I'll talk about the third one. But I want to show you the patterns that will come out in November. And some of them might actually come in December. I uh, get their update then in December. Because, you know, life happens. I have to whine you for a second. You know what? In between recording the first coffee chat, last one, and uh, this one, my family and I have been sick. Constantly. Four weeks in a row. I am so done with it. It's, um, it's super crazy. And it feels like we've been caged in here at home for two years um, with a little kid uh, trying to avoid to get corona I know it's officially over you know this dramatical status um, and now now everyone is getting corona and all the other stuff too and it doesn't go away because we all killed our immune systems by not going out anymore now nah. so okay I'm done Sorry, I get that out. <laughs> Thanks for listening. And uh, if you say problem, please let me know. Um, I know I'm not alone, but yeah, it's it's nice to sit with other people in this boat, even if even if it's a shitty one. Okay, so yeah, next design launches. Um, that's uh, the first topic, definitely. And the other one is, uh, I want to tell you that. I will have a, a host, host, a private knit along um, for my Patreons and what that's all about because it's kind of a test run and yeah, maybe you would like to, to join us too. Uh, so um, I'm going to talk about it, um, introduce you a bit to the concept and the whole idea behind it and if you want to join us, um, you can do that. We're happy to have more on board. Okay, and the third one I might just talk a bit about because um, I wanted to add always a section um, that gives you resources uh, to educate yourself and I talked on my newsletter actually a lot about this and gave online course tips and um, I thought I'm just gonna give you an overview there too. All right, shall we dig into the designs? Let's do it. So the first one, uh, the first thing I want to say is, uh, and I think I already said that <laughs> last time, but uh, yeah, doesn't matter. I, were, I want to update all my pattern layouts um, out until the end of this year. Um, and that doesn't mean that the first layouts were shit. It's just, you know, you develop those things and um, get to a point where you think, okay, this is cool. I want to keep that one. 
at least for a while. So now I'm trying to, you know, make it all consistently. And I believe the last design that will get an update um, and nothing else uh, on top of it is uh, this shawl. <laughs> because it already has a bonus section. See this? I really love this one. <laughs> Um, this is the I Love Cheap Swirl Shawl. I initially created this one for my first and so far only knit along. Um, I hosted it in the summer of 2021. Uh, I know a lot of people knit it with us. Uh, it's uh, well loved, well tested too. And I actually had test knit with 50 test knitters. That was crazy. But yeah. So, um, yeah, about this design, it's a super simple garter stitch, asymmetrical triangular shawl, um, which doesn't slip off the shoulders. I'm quite proud of it um, because it has a bit of a morphed shawl shape. So yeah, I created it for this uh, knit along and you know, this was in the middle, I, I felt like in the middle of the pandemic, was it really the middle? I don't know. Uh, but I felt like a lot of knitters have kind of lost their knitting mojo and I believe if you want to get started again, you need to get started with something very easily and something that also, you know, helps you to build up your strength. So this one starts super small, just with some stitches to cast on. And then it's really just only knits a bit at the beginning, a bit at the end, sorry. <coughs> and yeah, you're striping. So those are two, two colors. But uh, yeah, that's it until you feel it's big enough and then you um, work this fun icon bite off all around and add a pop of color if you like to. So I'm gonna put this off here. I'm trying to show you a bit more the shape. Hope you can see this. All right. So this is the I Love Sheep Swirl Shorts and um, I thought I should show you this because I feel like a lot of knitters are starting to freeze. <laughs> Maybe you need something to curl up and um, yeah, that's a, that's a really cool pattern for it. Put the links to the Reverie shop um, in the description. So the first design that will launch in November is actually double feature. And uh, I want to show you the original first. So this is the Eve and, uh, no, <laughs> sorry, Adam and Eve bandana cowl. It's, I think, still the favorite design of my knitters, of you. And on the one hand, um, so this one will get a layout update, but yeah, okay, so little story, sorry. <laughs> um, my mom, I asked my mom what she would like to have for her birthday. Sorry, it's a bit excited. I'm going to take a little round, okay? And um, she wanted to, she, asked, she said she wanted to have a, um, Adam and Eve bandana cow. So, all right, so she uh, chose her yarn and um, I took that with me to our summer holidays to the Netherlands because I thought maybe I can surprise her that I actually went through it and managed to knit it. Which would give a bit of surprise. But when I started to knit it, um, my brain kind of went on strength. Ah, oh, it's boring. I already made that one. Don't want to knit another one. So, I started to think about, okay, what if I reverse it? What if I, just for the fun of it and see what happens, what if I 
make the garter stitch. It's all over the garter stitch, um, except some details. Make the garter stitch stockinette and those stockinette, you know, just those little lines, details, um, make those garter. So I did, and um, mostly did it like that. Uh, what I kept is a guardy stitch here at the back because I thought it kind of nice having this detail a bit more stand out and ended up with a new pattern. Um, and I did write, thank god I did write that down on the way. Show you how it looks like. It's very easy to wear. Um, um, yeah, so stocking that gets naturally a bit longer. Um, but that's mostly it. So, if it's getting really cold, put your nose under it. So, my mom, and I'm totally for it by the way, I love this yarn. My mom chose um, Alpaca Supreme from John Arvin Textiles and in the weight sport. They do have a lace weight now too. Uh, I always say I'm a mill member of John Arvin Textiles. They uh, are a traditional company in England. They use a lot of breeds from England and I love that. Uh, really quirky breeds. Super, super fun. <laughs> and yeah, this one is a bit this one is a bit of an exception, but I will bring out a design next year with a more classic yarn from them. So this is a mix of Merino from the Falkland Islands. So there is no, definitely no mule thing going, mule thing, how do you say that? Anyway, you know what I mean, right? No animal cruelty going on. And uh, plus silk, which makes it super shiny and alpaca of course and it's it feels divine honestly it's super super cozy nice to wear i believe people who have problems with mohair can wear this um without problems and uh yeah so i did use nearly a whole skein 100 grams that's what's left. If my mom would like to have a tassel, I could have made her a tassel, but she doesn't want to, doesn't want to have a tassel. So this one will come out on the 4th of November. And I told you it's a double feature. So Adam and Eve, and this one is called Eve and Adam because it's reversed. And um, funny coincidence, my mom's name is Eve <laughs> too. So she's my Eve. She always comes first. Um, love my mom. Really cool that she inspired me to this new design uh, without purpose. <laughs> so um, I would say I was a bit. Um, <sighs> All right, I definitely marveled over the beautiful versions from you, <laughs> um, what people already made with the. Adam and Eve bandana pattern and thought, okay, I want one super funky version too. And I want one in DK because the first one was also in sports. And I wanted to have one in DK too. So this is Merino DK from La Bien Ami. Yes, I know, I am, I really pampered myself there, but I want you to try it. It's awesome. <laughs> and this color is called Everything is Awesome. It is. So this one will get a tassel. Again, let me show you, this is what's left from the DK yarn. So enough to make one tassel. And both patterns are actually written for fingering, sport and DK yarn, because I feel like, you know, most of us have this one special hand dyed skein in our stash. We don't know what to do. We want to, want to make something cool out of it. Um, it's probably hard to hard to mix. Sometimes it's easy, but most of the times uh, hard to mix. And um, yeah, that's what the pattern is really made for. And um, it's high enough 
to stick your nose under it if it's getting really cold. And um, if you want to have it, you know, stand up a bit more cleaner, you can put this on the inside. It looks like this. Um, the other version is a bit longer because the stocky net stitch gets longer. But yeah, still, it's both are one skein wonder. Okay. Um, yeah, I will uh, put you the link for Adam and Eve also in the description and if you're watching this way later um, you will probably found, find both in my store. Um, have fun! Uh, I can tell you it's really... I, I know knitters love, absolutely love knitting this pattern. I promise you it's easy. It's still not boring because you have to, you know, you have to do something at the end, in the middle. It's kind of quick. And uh, many make this actually as a as gift um, for Christmas. So I think you can you can get that done if you are if you have some knitting time. I don't know how long I did it took. I mean, look, I have a lot of a lot of time if I want to, I can work with my time, so I'm not a good benchmark, but um, it's in test knitting for a week now, and I know several of my test knitters are already done with it, no, no problem at all. Okay, all right, next one. Definitely going to launch as an update two in November, will be the dude's cow. As you can see, this is well loved. It's really my go-to knit whenever I have a cold. And um, I made this initially, it's really my first pattern ever. I made this initially with the petite wool from Wien It Is. Um, it's a 100% wool yarn um, in chunky weight. Um, as you can see, it's a bit avant-gardistic shaping so I know you have to like <laughs> you either love it or not um, and it's definitely knit a lot of people ask me this is Tunisian crochet it's not so it um, has two sizes um, and the difference between the sizes is how close it gets around the neck so this is really close I love it my husband hates it he also has a bigger head so if you have a bigger head, maybe not the smaller version. Um, show you the other one so you can see this goes smoother. It also stays a bit away from the neck. So with the update, um, I add into the instruction another yarn weight because a lot of people ask me if they could knit a bit lighter. And I would say I tried worsted didn't like it because it kind of it needs um, to look like this it really needs uh, it needs a good texture that can stand up a bit so um, yeah wasted felt like it wouldn't work but um, Erin works and Erin is already quite different so this one is on the blocking mat at the moment. But again, my test knitters knit this uh, with, yeah, with variegated yarn. I thought, okay, that's really cool. I want that too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay. Again, La Bien Ami, Erin Wade. This time two skeins, and that's what's left. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, this color is called air guitar. I'm super in love with it. It's, um, I know I'm not known for color, but I would say if color, then go for it. Give me, give it, give it to me, you know? <laughs> I love those yarn dyes who really go, can go crazy. If you knit it with a variegated yarn and you need two skates anyway, um, you have to alternate. Uh, it starts pooling very quickly and you can see even with alternating it happens a bit it's uh yeah but i think it's um it's a super interesting structure i also want to say i want to show you the other side 
And you can wear this inside out. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, like this too. Okay, um, yeah, that's going to come a bit later in November. I usually launch on Friday, so have a look at my Ravelry store for the update. Um, anyway, if you, it, I mean, the first one is still there and the updates come automatically. So don't worry, you can get it now um, and I will send you the update for uh, no extra cost. Okay, so I have two more designs um, that will get an update, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to manage this during um, November or if um, they will come out in December, we will see. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you both of them anyway. So here, whatever, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the first one is a raw denim cowl. Man, what am I doing here? All right, let me show it like this. I made three versions of this one. It's not really versions, it's all the same. Um, this one is knit. It's a very cool yarn from Pasquali. It's called Re-Jeans um, and it's made of recycled jeans. So it's 100% cotton, it's a vegan yarn. It's made for all of you who always tell me I can't knit with wool, giving me a rush. So, do cotton. Um, it has the unusual construction, it's a double layer um, with a uh, yeah, parts of uh, stocky net and parts of this nice textures. It's uh, still knits and pearls. I think it's nice to knit, um, easy to knit, easy to wear, looks quite cool. And um, I remember one of my pets, a test knitter said uh, she uh, was really surprised that you can knit with cotton and have this stability that it stands up, but it still has this drape and it's uh, really unusual. So I really like this one. I've been debating if I should knit a sec another sample because um, another test knitter, Jamie, who was also a knitwear designer, um, she made a version um, out of wool. She used Malabrigo Rios and you can do that because you have to knit the vegan yarns um, with bigger needles because uh, they are lacking this elasticity uh, wool has and um, this one is sports DK and um, the Malabrigo Rios is worsted, so it kind of hits the same mark. It's no problem. Um, use the same needle size and you end up with the same cowl. It's pretty cool. And I thought about making another one, but on the other hand, her project on Revelry is so nice and so very well documented that I feel like there's no need for it. Oh, sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Um, so I'm going to put you the the um, the link in the description. It's a raw denim cowl. Sorry, one second. Okay. <clears throat> the other one is the sexy Berlin cowl. I just realized I had two knit alongs. Um, always forget about this one. I made this pattern um, for the wild knit along, um, and that one. Was shortly before Christmas because I and I created this pattern as a last minute gift knit. And I knit this version straight um, and stopped the time and I think you know still was making a cup of coffee and going to the toilet and so on and it took me three hours. So that's super quick if you really messed up if you're sweating away no worries I've got you. So I think this one is a very cool design, especially for non-knitters, because 
you know, we knitters, we love all these crazy techniques and how it looks like. Um, but non-knitters are not used to it. <clears throat> and there is still a lot of... Ah, poor Tyler. Preju prejudice. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, yeah? You know what people are talking about knitting, it's old lady stuff. Whatever. It's not, of course not. And I feel like this one um, will make people very happy who don't knit and are not used to our world. So, um, and aesthetics. Um, this is uh, super chunky yarn from We Are Knitters, quite honestly, um, not from We Are Knitters, this one is from Wool and the Gang, um, but We Are Knitters has the same, has the same, more or less, and I know a lot of my test knitters used um, with Thick and Ease also from Line Brand Yarns, sorry, it's Line Brand, I know Line Brand is huge in the US, but here at least in Germany it's not, and I think in the rest of Europe also not, but you could use that one too. Worked out pretty fine. Okay. Again, one second. Probably should take a break. Um, okay, uh, the update um, in this case will be a second version. So this, um, this cow uses exactly one ball. It's a big one, 100 grams. Um, but I made a scarf, and the scarf is, as you can see, it's a bit still in, in the making. I want to make a video how to make this little things there, so there will be the whole, along the whole line, the whole edge. That's the funny things. So um, yeah, so this is this is the scarf version. I thought not everybody might be might like a cowl. Um, this one needs two balls, so it takes double amount of time, six hours. Uh, but that's it. It's still quite cool, um, quite cool gift knit. And um, I will just add this to the pattern. It's so um, so easy to make. Um, it's not a lot of instructions, so I feel like it's fair to put it in one pattern and not make an extra one and make an extra luck. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, one more design that's um, off my needles. Uh, still not 100% finished, as you can see. Need to sew here for the armhole. Um, but that's a water wrap, and um, yeah, it's kind of done. Um, I hope I can write the pattern this week. That would be good. And get into test knitting, so you guys have lots and lots of time. Um, I want to release this in January. It's a collaboration with the Fiber Co. Um, knit with their yarn Cumbria in Worsted. Um, and that yarn is connected to January, so it's kind of important to get that done. And yeah, still a lot to do, quite honestly. Anyway, um, what's a wrap? Let's talk about that one for a second. Some people might know it more like a cocoon. So it's not a classic um, garment construction. There is no shoulder shaping whatsoever. It's uh, very easy. Um, then you just knit a rectangle. And then you join in the round and work this border. And you sew, in, sew for the armholes, so you don't have huge armholes. And that's it. Okay. So, um, I want to get started with Garmin's design, see if I like it. I like to do that. Um, but I also want to start easily, and I'm a bit afraid of all the shaping, all those sizes, all those math. Um, yeah, it freaks me out quite honestly. So I thought this might be a good one to get started with. At the same time, I um, also thought, oh my god, I can't knit a rectangular in garter or stockinette. I go crazy. I need some kind of stuff going on there. And I also 
know there are already, I shouldn't say that out loud, but you all know that anyway, there are free uh, patterns out that uh, have this easily version going on. So um, I decided that I want to get started with uh, cables and I did with the other Fibaco collaboration anyway, show you last time. And here we have this fisherman's rib with cables. So it's really a, an amp up for this one. You do need a cable wheel. I would say it's really not that crazy to do. I thought it would be more crazy. And the one thing I did add that's quite unusual for this um, construction is this huge collar. And that one is made with ooh, ooh, German, German short rows. Okay, some people don't have a problem with it. I know it's one of those techniques people are freaking out. It's so easily done. Okay, I'm German, so I have to say that, but still. Um, yeah, I wanted to have this huge color, be, be, uh, color, whatever, um, because uh, my shoulders need, you know, this extra warmth. They always get into knots if anything is getting cold there. It's awful. So I want to have that. I want to have the feeling that I can really, you know, wrap myself in it. And I feel like it's a great pattern for January. All right, go I keep that on because it's really nice. And um, now we're going to talk about the pa uh, private Patreon knit along. Gonna take one sip of water. All right, let's talk about the private Patreon knit along. So I launched my Patreon program this summer and um, I also developed a knitting pattern for it which is called this scrappy heart shawl show to you it's again a simple garter stitch pattern in an I think, unusual shaping um, has this heart shape and an additional border all around um, and I made some uh, small, smaller versions to show kind of the color ideas um, that are in there too. It's um, made for, it's like a recipe and you can make it with different yarn weights again and you can build fates with or without marling. This is with marling. I'm wondering for a second here, sorry, if there's the right side and wrong side, if you can see it, but no, that's cool. Okay, and um, I made one that's a bit bigger, that is kind of like a bandana, so you can make a knot in the back. Uh, but I think you can imagine if this one gets bigger, you will get this ends over here, can wrap it around you in a nice way. So, uh, but I haven't gotten around to make a big one and um, next year, this is only exclusive this year for Patreon, so next year uh, I will launch it for the public and I do get, got yarn from Ching, it's uh, asked them if I already have, anyway, um, I asked them if I would like to send me a um, fade set for it. So I can make the striping really nice. It's going to be beautiful. So this is dashing fingering. It's uh, ultra fine merino. It feels amazing. Looks awesome. I think this is going to be beautiful. Um, but there's so much stuff going on um, that this is always on the back burner. So I thought, oh my god, if only somebody would knit it with me. So this is, as you can imagine, it's kind of a piece of the puzzle. The other one is um, that I truly love to um, learn um, about photography and I have been thinking about uh, teaching photography for knitters for a while now and I know I talk about it every now and then, sometimes I, I'm able to 
create some content for it, but um, I'm kind of, I was kind of lacking good concept for it. And I do have, by the way, high tier on Patreon where it's also dedicated to uh, teach photography. However, that's, yeah, that's a very, you know, very special community and um, not for everyone. So, um, yeah, I kind of been thinking, how can I, how can I make a match? And yeah, of course I could play one and the other, but yeah. Uh, so I also, I will say that too, before I started with Nidoresta, I worked as senior art director and created brand experiences. So that's uh, basically events and of course for very different reasons, usually to sell guys. And um, but I still love that, you know, it's so much fun. It's, um, it's really about having fun, creating something to um, get to know a product, but also to experience it. And um, what I love about also creating it, it's, there's a lot of stuff that comes together. So it's really interesting to do. Um, to work on those projects and at the same time I feel like it takes away the dullness of daily life and um, makes something special and I love that. So take those three knitting, photography, events and you end up with a knit along that also teaches photography. I think that's kind of genius. <coughs> so that's what I want you to do, what I want to start with next year. Um, I would like to do one in spring, one in autumn, and um, to explain that fairly easily, uh, think about we have four weeks. First week, um, we all want to share what we're going to knit, um, what yarn we have in our stash, and that's exactly what the photography lesson will be about how to present your yarn, how to photograph your yarn. Um, and the second week will be then about work in progress because we are all working on it and um, we want to share our progress. Third one will be about the final object itself and that's more like flat lay or, you know, pre not presented not on a body. And the fourth one will be um, how to take self-portraits um, and model your objects. Of course, that's also how you take photos if your partner, your friend, kids, whatever, wear the nets, but um, there's a certain challenge to take self-portraits, so I'm gonna focusing on that one mostly. Um, I say that too, because a lot of people ask me um, all the time, um, I take quite honestly all my pictures with my iPhone and always have. Um, I do have a bridge camera, I try to get um, more in sync with it, try it with that one the last months, doesn't work. I record my videos on it, so that's awesome for that part, it's really great. Taking photos is so much easier um, with an iPhone, any smartphone, I guess, that has kind of a halfway proper camera in it. And um, I believe that everyone can learn that it's uh, really not that hard to do. It's getting a bit more technical and more complicated if you try to work with a digital camera. But honestly, who doesn't need that? You don't need that to uh, have fun in our online communities, to share it on whatever channels and we talk about it and um, where you want to document it too. Um, same goes, by the way, for test knitting. So I feel like this is a great opportunity to learn this. Um, I think it's a, another creative craft um, while it does make sense for you. And that's very important for me. Whatever you do, it does need to make sense or I'm not motivated to do it. 
this month makes total sense. So, as you can imagine, um, it's getting a bit more complicated for what I have in mind for next year because I would also like the overall topic. I would like to have the photography lesson, not just plain minimal, but a bit more um, playing with the topic itself and, you know, to inspire you to be creative. Uh, and so it adds up a lot. Um, but this basic concept I just described to you, I want to test that with my Patreons in, in November, maybe a bit in December too, at the beginning, and um, see how they like it, how uh, what I have to what I have to create for it. So it's going to be like a rough test run, and um, yeah, as they. They are getting really excited about this. And we're going to start on the 1st of November. And um, if you would like to join us, um, you do have to become a Patreon. You have to sign up for that platform. Um, you can, by the way, you can get out monthly again. So it could be a test drive for you too. And um, I have three tiers. And that this is kind of community goal, um, part of the community. Uh, all tiers have access to this, all are involved. Um, we will start with uh, a Discord channel, adding a Discord channel to Patreon. I want to celebrate that too, we have something to talk about there. And that's uh, also part of why we are doing that now. Um, so. There's a beginner tier that's only in Euro 250. So that's kind of the easy access. Um, if you would like to try this, I think this is awesome to get started. Um, the second tier is the intermediate. Uh, the intermediate gets additionally um, each month a pattern and I will put one on top of it for November, so you definitely have no problem to knit one of my designs. Uh, generally, all all of my designs are allowed to knit there. Um, I also said, actually, my page <laughs> already my patrons are allowed to knit whatever they want, whatever they want. I just want to try it. Want to have fun? Want to use this Discord channel? See how it works. So, and the, but um, they get extra hearts for knitting my stuff. Of course, come on, every designer wants it. Um, all right, uh, the third tier is the advanced tier, and those are my photography slash design students, and um, they do get the photography lessons. I have to say that too, so I don't want anyone to disappoint, uh, be disappointed. This will be a rough version. Um, what I want to create is a real online course with several sections, all edited beautifully. I won't be able to get that done, but what I want to get done is um, really make one presentation where everything I want to teach um, is in it and um, all the lessons are in it and kind of build the structure um, but also teach my patreons already what I want to teach. It won't be as beautiful as it will be in the end but yeah and this time um, we won't have a um, complicated it's not complicated, but yeah, we won't have this this fun, creative overhead topic. So um, I want to use this one to create minimal photography lessons. It's kind of my minimal style, really teach how I photograph and um, what I believe you, uh, what I will, what I believe what will help you to get started with photography. All right, yeah, that's the idea for you. I hope you like that. Um, there's one more, one more topic. 
One sec. So I had a quick lunch break with my husband and I tried to leave everything at its place. But I feel like this chair, we ditched it. <laughs> and not the same place. Hope it doesn't irritate you. Sorry. Okay, so last thing I just quickly want to uh, say is I've been talking about uh, online courses and gave some tips uh, on my newsletter during the last weeks and I'm trying to open up the whole rainbow there of options um, because I truly love online courses. I'm a self-taught knitter, I um, learned everything with YouTube but also with Knit Stars and um, generally some more paid options um, for not only for knitting but a lot of other stuff and I truly love having the possibility of learning from people all over the world and being able to watch it in my own pace and when I can find time for it um, hit repeat things I didn't get or memorize the first time in a good proper way um so it's uh, really my jam and i would love to get started with online courses too so um i share those tips on the one hand because i really love it and i hope my uh, readers um, profit from it too and on the other hand because i kind of want to introduce those possibilities and platforms and sooner or later also ask um, which ones of them they do like. Same goes for you. Uh, I would love to know, have you ever been on Knit Stories? Um, did you join a live session on Vogue Knitting or um, on the live virtual knitting? Are you now on the making app? Have you ever heard of Skillshare? Um, all those kind of things. And <clears throat> sorry. Um, yeah, so first of all, if you would like to answer those, feel free to use the comments. And um, if you would like to get those tips and maybe be part of my bit more. Uh, in detail survey um, which I will do in a, in a minute sorry I have something in my eyes this sucks what's going on here something's wrong anyway I'll try to get that out in a minute um, please subscribe for my newsletter uh, there's a free head pattern the fat winter head um, for you uh, waiting for you. Um, so if you sign up, I thank you that one. And um, yeah, quite honestly, I feel like my newsletter uh, subscribers really love the newsletter. It's um, of course telling you about the new launches, so you won't miss any of those I just showed you. Um, but it's also a bit more about knitting. I often share Netflix tips. Last week was a perfect rom-com uh, part of it um, I do share those other creative tips I sometimes talk about ah, very other things I love <laughs> that all sounds really vague but you know what you just have to get on it to uh, get a taste of it it's the uh, same way I talk to you now I write um, so no boring snotty Educating, seriously educating, doomsday newsletter. <laughs> I know some so always feel a bit bad afterwards. So I want you to feel better, honestly. Um, have fun with knitting. It's super important for me. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this second coffee chat. We will see each other again in a month. Um, and yeah. Stay tuned. Bye. I forgot something. I know, I always forget that thing. Man, being new on YouTube sucks. Being 
on pur with purpose on YouTube sucks. Um, please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> <laughs> um and if you if you want to know when the next one uh launches hit also those again give me notification buttons but uh seriously subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me it's super cool if you get a bit more followers always nice uh, knowing that some people are interesting interested blah, blah, blah. yep all spoken out uh talked out um um, if you know that some people are interested in your stuff, thank you so much. Have a lovely day.